Hi, hello. Welcome to the Bat Cave. Congratulations. You did the hardest part, and that's pushing play. I am recording today, hopefully to inspire you to come back to your body, to uh, return back to the breath. There is such magic when we return to the breath and to just that simple act of breathing and being present to the breath. So we will carry that intention of breathing fully through the whole practice today. And um, just make sure that you have your space set up, your mat, any kind of props you'd like. And I'm gonna start the music and we're gonna get started. Um, today's theme beyond carrying the breath through the practice is a, uh, a tea fortune that I got today in my tea. And it said a peaceful mind is a strong mind. And every time that you come to the mat, you create a certain level of peacefulness within the mind. You quiet the mind chatter, you quiet those thoughts of judgment and, and all of those things. When you come to the mat, this is a space to let all of those things just rest for a minute. And you allow yourself to connect to the body by way of breath, to quiet the mind by way of breath, to stretch out the muscles and actually release the physical tension that we store in our bodies as we process and move through our everyday life and the challenges that life gives to us. So as we settle in, I'm gonna grab my card deck. I'm gonna start some music. We'll start in a easy seated pose. So whatever that means to you, find that. And as you're in your easy seated pose, just take a big inhale and an exhale. And just focus our energy and attention into the universe has your back deck. And let's see what added guidance, wisdom, intention that we can receive from spirit today. I am a spirit having a human experience and I am here to get closer to love. message as we deepen into the idea that a peaceful mind is a strong mind. A peaceful mind can go into the presence of the observer. So as you settle into your seat, align, allow, surrender. Close the eyes if that feels safe and comfortable for you. Let your seat bones root equally into the earth as your legs relax in whatever easy seated position works for you. Before we go any further, this is just a reminder that this is your practice, so make sure that you're moving safely. Make sure you're moving for your body and your level of mobility today. Of course, there is no judgment, just observation. As we move with reverence and respect for our body and where it is at in this now moment, knowing that each time that you come to the mat, you are strengthening 
not only your body, but your mind and your spirit. Softening into the intentions that we've kind of started to cultivate and weave around and into the practice, creating this really beautiful energetic force field that we can drop into a little portal on your mat, so to speak, rooted in the earth, aligned with the spine, heart floating over the hips, shoulders relaxed. Maybe take an exhale and notice the shoulders kind of melt down the back gently. Another good inhale and exhale, breath cycle, chin comes parallel to the earth. Ears are in the same plane as the shoulder. So breath is soft and sweet and full. For the next few breath cycles, think as you breathe in, I breathe in. As you breathe out, think I breathe out. Be fully present to this sensation of breath. Notice where you can relax through the body, still keeping that beautiful alignment. Spine is long, shoulders relaxed. take a moment to imagine a pond, a beautiful pond surrounded by grasses, cattails, maybe some frogs are making sounds, maybe it's a bullfrog, maybe you see a turtle, whatever pond takes shape in your mind's eye, breathe in and breathe out. And notice that the pond has ripples in it. So maybe there are some people throwing rocks into the pond. Maybe it's the ripples of the fish and the wildlife. Maybe it's the ripples from the wind. Whatever is causing motion in the water, allow yourself to observe this in your mind's eye for a moment. <coughs> and as you notice the water, and its motion. Start to exhale peace and stillness into the pond. So each inhale, you fill up and each exhale, see, feel, imagine yourself breathing peace and stillness into the pond until the water is clear and still. Notice any sensations as the water stills within your own body. You notice a stilling in your own self. As you breathe in and breathe out, know that our mind is like this pond. So often we let others throw rocks into our pond, creating ripples, creating waves, creating a less than clear picture. When we take a moment to come back and breathe and still the waters of our minds, we can see clearly. We can feel the serenity of the stillness. As you inhale, inhale the arms up overhead. Reach the arms up, stretch up, reach up. Palms facing each other, wiggle the fingers, and then exhale, relax the shoulders and turn the palms out. As you exhale, then lower the hands down. Almost as if you're saying, calm, water is calm. You can keep the eyes closed if you'd like. And then open the arms up nice and wide. Root into your seat again. Make sure you're rooted into the seat bones equally. The arms are open wide and your shoulders are relaxed. So you're really opening, you can feel that engagement through the back of the arms. You're not arching the back, keeping that alignment, engaging the core, chin parallel to the earth, just breathing here, opening and activating through the heart and the upper body. Reach up again, palms facing each other. 
Wiggle the fingertips, turn the palms out, and then push everything away. Do you see that? Create that little force field for yourself today. Reach the right arm up and over. As you reach the right arm up and over, see if you can open up that heart towards the sky, opening up that shoulder. You're just using that left hand to kind of support you at the hip. Both of your seat bones are rooted. And then gently come back just a little bit, still lean over and then turn the heart towards the earth. Open the shoulder and the heart back up towards the sky and then reach up. Right arm comes over, back down to the earth. Other side, right, or sorry, left arm comes up and you're gonna reach over, root into the seat, open up, relax through the shoulder. You can even let the arm hang at the elbow if you like. Opening up through that side body, using this arm for support. Come back just a hair and then turn, keeping the arm up and turn back open. And of course, if you have lower back issues, be really careful as you turn and take your twists, coming back up and over, back down to center. Inhale the arms back up overhead again, wiggle the fingertips towards each other. And then as you exhale, you're gonna to turn to the right, take the left hand to the right knee, right hand kind of aligns with the spine as you turn, keep the seat bones rooted, the spine long, look over the right shoulder. We're gonna work on doing quite a bit of bilateral movement and really working into some of the pieces of physical movement that engage the brain. Because remember, bringing peace into the mind makes the mind strong. Movement in the body helps to keep the mind focused. Inhale, reach up, wiggle the fingers, exhale, twisting in the other direction. So continuing to breathe, rooted in the seat bones, looking over the left shoulder. This is a great twist stretch to release tension through the spine, gives the abdominals and the digestive system a nice little twist, a little stretch. I even got a burp out of that one. <laughs> one more. Inhale back up to center. Exhale, bring the arms down to the sides. All right, inhale the arms up again. And then as you exhale, bring the arms down, open up, palms up. Relax, shoulders, just leave the palms open and then we're gonna pulse palms up for five. You ready? Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. All right, turn the palms towards me and then you're gonna pulse in. Ready, kind of like you're squeezing in like that. You ready? One, two, three four, five. Awesome. So we did the palms. Did we do the palms up? No, we did the palms down. All right, palms up. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, arms down to the sides. And then let's move into a seated forward. Jiggle around, wiggle around a little bit. We were in that easy seated pose for a little while. So root into the seat. Plant those feet, reach the arms up over the head. And then exhale. Hinging at the waist. I'm gonna choose to keep my spine kind of long. Stretches a little differently as opposed to hinging at the waist and then rounding through the spine. So decide what feels good for you today, what works for you. Sometimes I like to put my hands underneath my calves. Awesome, inhale the arms up overhead and then fold again. reach the arms up and then exhale bring them down 
go ahead and do a wide-legged sit. Let's do another twist. Let's do a half butterfly type twist. Draw the right foot into the left thigh, root, root seat bones. And then again, inhale up so you can have that really nice spinal alignment. And then exhale, twisting to the right. Again, resting the knee, the hand, relax. Look over the shoulder, the spine is long, shoulders are relaxed. Nice big inhale and exhale. Inhale the arms up overhead and exhale down to center. Just switching sides, send that right leg out, left leg comes in, reaching the arms up overhead. And then exhaling, twisting to the other side. Couple of good inhales and exhales. Mm, inhale back to center. Come into a tabletop position. Keeping your knees and your hips aligned, tops of the feet rested in the mat, start to slide the hands out and hinge crease at the waist. So kind of like you're folding the belly in towards the pelvis. Let the hands come out as the head comes down to the earth. This might be an opportunity where you need a block underneath the head. This is puppy. So yeah. And then from puppy, breathe. And then walk your hands back so that you can plant the fingertips nice and wide, planting the palms, tucking the toes under, headed to down dog. I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. So as you're in your down dog here, I want you to first of all, of course, root into your foundation. The feet are hip width distance apart. Palms are planted, fingertips are spread wide. If you have socks on or those little finger thingies on your <laughs> sweatshirt, fix that now. Find a safe and supported down dog, inhale, Draw the core up towards the spine and the hips up towards the sky. I want you to find three things that you love about yourself right now here in this moment. That might be really hard, but move through the resistance by way of breath. Use the focus of down dog rooted in your foundation and your knowing three things. They could be simple little things. Name them as you breathe. And then walk the hands towards the feet into a standing forward fold. How you doing? Hang out in that standing forward fold for a minute. Awesome. Breathe in and breathe out. Plant your left hand on the earth underneath your forehead. Push down into the feet, almost resting your belly into the thighs and then reach that right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the right hand down, rest it on the earth underneath the forehead. Reach the left arm up towards the sky. And then exhale the left hand down to the earth. Push down through the feet. Generously bend the legs so you can rest your belly on your thighs. Point the tailbone down, look forward, and then start to rise up. Engage through the legs, engage the core as you stand all the way up. Root to rise, reach the arms up. Beautiful. So from here, I'm gonna do just a little bit of a balance pose, something a little different. 
root into that right foot. Let that, sorry, yeah, right foot. Root into your right foot. Let that left be kind of a kickstand. Reach the arms up. Bring it into palm. Heart. Take a moment to feel your foot, right foot rooting into the earth, that left foot just kind of helping to balance. Probably keep the eyes open. And then here you can either put your hands on your waist or you can kind of go like this and then lift up the left leg and rotate the, the ankle around one way and around the other way. Reach for the knee and draw the knee towards the chest as you elongate through the spine. And then do a figure four so that that outside of that left ankle rests on the right knee. Engage through the legs, root into that right foot. See where you can find your balance, find a drishti. Nice full breaths. Inhale, bring that knee back to center and lower it down. Shake it out. Rooting into the left foot. As you can see, sometimes when you have a yoga mat on the rug, it can shift. All right, kickstand, left foot rooted. Feel all four corners of your feet rooted into the mat. As you tuck your, kind of tuck your tailbone so that your heart and your hips align again. And that'll really help you kind of root into and engage the core, which will help you keep your balance or build your balance. Inhale the arms up overhead, bring it down into heart center. Feel your root and get ready however you want to hold your hands bringing that foot up, bending at the right knee, and then rotating the ankle. Awesome. Inhaling, figure four. You can kind of sit down into that a little bit. Let that right knee draw away from the nose. Oh, that I knew I forgot something. Inhale, draw that knee back to center and then wrap the hand around the knee and straighten roots and then go ahead and release. Shake out, inhale, lift all the way up and then exhale to a forward fold. Hang out in your forward fold for a minute. Awesome. Check to make sure that you have your uh, feet hip width distance apart. You can do that by putting your fists together and then setting them in between your feet. So find your hip width distance apart. Root down through the feet, look forward, lift up. And as you come up, bring your hands in the heart center and then draw the tailbone again kind of towards, so that, towards you so that the heart aligns with the hips. We're gonna sit in the chip, okay? So you wanna sit backwards, push your, push your weight backwards into your bum and your heels. Make sure that your knees don't go over your toes. If so, you can bring more of a bend into so you see how my spine stays straight. The whole time my core is engaged, my tailbone's pointing down. You're gonna inhale. And as you exhale, turn to the right, open up that left palm. Wait, yeah. Twist, and if you can rest the knee and the elbow, you can. Otherwise, I found out that this and open is a really nice way to do it too. So as you twist, root into the heels and the bum, 
You can either have your hands in prayer or open. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale, bring yourself back to center. Exhale, forward fold, pedal the feet out. And then do it again on the other side. Push down through the feet, lift all the way up. As you exhale then, coming hands to heart center, sitting down into your chair. Finding that rooted alignment, inhale. And then as you exhale, take that turn, either open up the outside of the right hand on the knee. Try and keep the knees square. I just noticed my knee shifted really far forward. Try and keep those knees square and let the twist come from the waist. Breathe. Inhale, center. Exhale, straighten the legs, forward fold. Big breaths, in and out. Awesome. <laughs> Push down through the feet. Look forward, lift all the way up. Inhale the arms up overhead. And we're gonna practice two things that I just really like to do that I've adapted into my own practices. So grab a drink of water if you need it. <laughs> Reach your feet hip width distance apart. <clears throat> Adjust everything you need to. I'm actually gonna turn sideways so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So my feet are hip-width distance apart. And I'm gonna bring a nice bend into the knees. So, so nothing too like big, like I'm gonna just enough, right? Because there's a difference between having the legs straight and then having the legs kind of supportively bent. So as you supportively bend in the knees, you can even lift the kneecaps, engage the muscles around there, lifting the kneecaps. Or you can just feel the engagement in the muscles of the legs. You could even close your eyes at this point and feel the four corners of the feet or the tripod of the feet rooting into the earth. Now, you wanna look for a second and tuck my pelvis. You see how that is? Usually when we go to squat, our butts are sticking out. So tuck that pelvis and then the heart just aligned over the hips again, right? Shoulders are relaxed, chin parallel to the earth, ears in the same plane as the shoulders. So here's your active posture, present moment awareness. All right, so shift all of your weight into the back right heel and kind of open the hip and then shift your weight forward to the ball of the left foot. Shift your weight back to the heel of the left and then shift your weight forward to the ball of the right. Shift your weight back to the heel of the right and then start over, drawing a figure eight, shifting Transferring the weight from heel to ball, heel to opposite ball, to heel to opposite ball. And see if you can keep the shoulders straight. You can even take the feet a little bit wider if that feels like a more supportive stance. It's just nice to start with hip width distance apart a nice supportive bend in the knees. Let those hip flexors sway as you shift your weight. Ball to heel, to opposite ball to heel. Okay? Again, trying to keep the shoulders upright, keeping that nice posture. Beautiful. All right. Stepping the feet a little bit closer together. And the last standing posture that we'll do here is just pretend like your arms are completely numb or like it this always reminds me of like when a toddler throws a fit they're like Wah! throwing a fit like so pretend like your arms are or the inflatable man 
All right. We have fun in yoga too, right? All right. So just make sure that you have a supportive stance so that you don't like go one way or the other, or trip or fall, or we want to be safe, right? But really what you're doing is you're just wrapping the hands around and slapping, kind of slapping the kidneys. Inhale one side, exhale to the other side. Make sure you keep that nice rootedness, but also keep a fluidity in the movement. You're really hinging at the waist, but you're also kind of supporting yourself through the knees too, so you're not twisting the knees too much. So find what works for you. I find a more rooted stance helps me to move safely. Peaceful mind, strong mind. Peaceful mind, strong mind. Peaceful mind, strong mind. Peaceful mind, strong mind. I like this beat. Peaceful mind is a strong mind. A peaceful mind is a strong mind. A peaceful mind is a strong mind. We turn this into a dance. And I'm almost, I'm almost, this is almost how they, what is that? The flossing? I'm almost flossing, you guys. <laughs> Go ahead and shake it out. And then I want you to start just by rubbing your arms for a second. Rub the arms up and down. Massage the wrists. Maybe even massage the palms. Maybe you go a little bit aggressive at first, and then you start to kind of relax it, make your way up again, maybe even kind of digging in circular motions at the joints, and then working your way up towards the heart as you massage. This technique where you're kind of brushing upwards is the Ayurvedic technique that they use for dry brushing, and dry brushing is a really, really awesome thing, so if you want to know more, get a hold of me but you go in circles at the joint areas and then you move up towards the heart. And so this gentle massage is not only just stimulating and it's like telling your body like, hey, I really love you. Thank you for everything that you do. Like this is the vessel, right? This is what gets us around. This is what helps us to serve and to love others because we are a spirit having a human experience and we are here to get closer to love. And part of this human experience is being in this body. Be in the body now. <laughs> just kidding you do what you want to this is your practice but as we're kind of employing that technique just through massage bring yourself up to the shoulders now and again always kind of rubbing towards the heart maybe you want to come up uh, around the back and remember to bring the breath with too right Rub that collarbone, chest area. And it's your body, so you get to touch wherever, wherever you want. So I'm just gonna kind of get around that area here. Rubbing down, maybe through the back and whatnot. And then go ahead and shake out and we'll do the rest of this while we're seated, okay? So as you're kind of like, ooh, feeling the sensations of having this like upper body, like nice little massage, go ahead and find whatever way it feels good to the floor. Maybe you wanna sway. Maybe you wanna inhale and reach up and exhale, take your forward fold. Maybe you just wanna sit out. However you make your way to the earth, do it really nice and gently. And then once you get there, go ahead and let yourself sit out. Bring your feet out in front of you. And then again, starting at the feet, um, you can even, you know, rub the feet a little bit. Rub down in the arch there. Maybe pull on the toes a little bit. Rub around that ankle area. Get the other foot. And if you don't like rubbing your feet, that's okay. But I just encourage you to at least like Give it a nice little pat. These feet carry us around. Our feet are like a tree's roots. So stimulate them. And I love that Rumi quote, walk as though your feet are kissing the earth with each step. I know that's not the exact quote, but 
anyways, so then start to rub upwards. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but you can rub on that softer spot kind of in between the bone and the muscle. You can rub behind. And then of course you can take the knuckles around the knee other side nice big breaths too while you're doing it skip on this okay just keep doing this I know you're like what the hell Kate maybe you aren't maybe you're like god this feels really good why don't I do this more often wherever you're at is totally okay because there's no judgments in this space right just observe right like observe are you kind of uncomfortable doing this if so that's okay but maybe explore why anyways bounce the legs up and down open the arms cross them over in front of you Gently sway side to side. <laughs> Let's move to a tabletop position. Take the knees as wide as the mat, let the big toes touch, but keep the hips high. Walk the hands so that they're rooted underneath the shoulder shoulders, so the wrists are underneath the shoulders at first. But then take the left hand forward slightly Take the right arm out to the side, palm facing down. We're headed for a thread the needle. So as you thread your needle through the arm and the leg, turn so that that heart turns up towards the sky. Use that left hand to kind of push into that, resting on the shoulder and the temple, relaxing through the legs, keep the hips high and square. One more breath. Inhale, push up, unthread your needle, send it long out to the side. Hands come back into center, wrists underneath the shoulders. Right hand reaches forward or steps forward slightly. Left arm reaches out to the side and then threading your needle. Coming into the other side, hips stay high. Oh, turn that heart up towards the sky. Nice big breath. Inhale, push up and come back to center. Squaring, actually no, keep the knees wide, keep the big toes touching and then head towards your child's pose. Take any wiggles, any time that you need to find a comfortable child's pose. This is where we will be ending today. So we'll be here for several breath cycles as we kind of encapsulate the practice. So for the first few inhales and exhales here in child's pose, the eyes are closed. The breath is allowing you to settle into the space. So each exhale allows you to kind of settle into the earth. Maybe you want to imagine that you're settling into your, your uh, still pond that you were at at the beginning of your practice. Wherever you are, let the breath be the present focus, breathing in and breathing out. See if you can take a moment to slide on over to the seat of the observer. Can you take a moment to observe yourself right now? Can you observe your child's pose posture? Can you observe the stillness or lack thereof of the mind? Can you observe more subtle undercurrents of energy that are present in your body. 
allow your breath to be your guide. And remember in this moment of observation that you are a spirit having a human experience. We're here to get closer to love. So maybe as you're observing, you want to imagine observing your heart center. a few more moments with big full breaths in and out letting the earth hold you letting the breath guide you remembering that a peaceful mind is a strong mind when we allow ourselves to come back to a state of rest and digest, a state of peace within the body, mind, and spirit, we create ample opportunities to release stress, to gain or cultivate the courage to continue to move through whatever challenges we're facing. A peaceful mind is a strong mind that allows for space, allows for observation so that there is an opportunity to respond instead of react. If you have one thing on repeat in your head this weekend or for the next few days, let it be peaceful mind, strong mind. Peaceful mind is a strong mind. Peaceful mind is a strong mind. There we go. <laughs> and the last message today from the universe has your back is the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So again, how can you infuse and weave fun into this experience, this human experience that you are having as a spirit? How can you weave fun into creating a peaceful mind so that you can have a strong mind. How can you weave fun and joy into the more challenging crevices of your space and your experience? Taking a nice big inhale and exhale breath cycle and starting to move yourself out of child's pose posture in any ways that feels good. So if you come up to hands and knees, start to kind of couple cat cows, sway side to side, whatever feels good. And then you'll come up into your easy seated pose. <clears throat> mm, beautiful work today, you beautiful soul, you weaver of grand design, weaving intricate threads of peace, vitality, and love into your day by showing up for yourself. I'm acknowledging you right now. Inhaling the arms up overhead. I am a spirit having a human experience, palms meet, and I'm here to get closer to love, bringing the hands into that heart center where that unconditional love lives, grows, and pours out. Again, inhaling the arms up overhead. A peaceful mind is a strong mind. Inhale and exhale. And one last time. The universe works fast when I am having fun. Hands down to heart center. May you be safe and protected. May you be healthy and nourished. May you love and be loved and may you truly be happy. May your practice bring you peace. May you share this peace with the world. Namaste. All right, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I love it when my playlist syncs up almost perfectly. Okay, so let me share these cards with you. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna need to turn this light down here. Okay, it's as low as it goes. Okay, so here's the first card that we had for our guidance this evening. I am a spirit having a human experience 
and I'm here to get closer to love. So awesome. But what's super cool is like, look at the similarities in these cards. So you can see that little rainbow here. You can see the half rainbow here. These are just beautiful messages to go along with the practice tonight. The universe works fast when I'm having fun. And so, like I said, we still have fun in yoga, right? Like still have fun in class. So those are the two messages for this practice. And um, yeah. Namaste. Sending you so much love. And um, yeah, sunshine and snapdragons to you. I feel like everybody needs a little extra sunshine and snapdragons. They're my favorite flower. So Okie dokie, have a beautiful rest of whatever day you have left, or maybe you are just starting. Wherever this video finds you, just know that um, thinking about you, I'm holding space for you.